We're already on episode six of how to make vector t-shirt designs in Illustrator. Based on all your guys' comments in the community tab, it looks like you guys really wanted this episode. And I'm showing you guys how to make an epic design today, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So without further ado, let's hop into Illustrator and get started. So we're gonna remake the design that you see in front of you right now. And I just use Parkway Drive as text placement in their latest album because um, I really like the band. So it just really fit the design that I was going for. There's a lot of really basic shapes going on here and basic methods in order to recreate this design. The skull that you see in the center, I did not make. I found this on freepick.com, spelled with a K, not a C. And it's right here. We're gonna be using this as well in our design. The first thing we wanna do is create a new artboard because we're gonna recreate this design. So. We're going to go to artboards and just create a new artboard. Chances are you don't even have a document set up, so just go up to file new and set up that new document and make it like 10 inches by 10 inches so you're copying the exact dimensions of my artboard and we are good to go. The first thing we want to do is grab the skull, so I'm just going to click on it. It's going to turn red. I'm going to do command X or command C actually to copy it and we're going to go to our document now and just do command V and that's going to paste it. Resizing the skull actually is pretty important because that's going to kind of determine how our design goes, if that makes sense. So we're gonna make it about this big. Actually, we'll make it just a little bit bigger. And we also wanna change the color. So I'm gonna click on it and change it to black. That looks good. Now what I wanna do is go to my ellipse. So I'm gonna hit L on my keyboard and that's going to go to my ellipse tool, which is our circle. And we're going to hold in shift and we're just gonna drag out a circle about this big. This first circle is gonna go under the jaw a little bit. So we're gonna go about right there. And we don't want it to be a solid fill. So we actually wanna to go to this little bottom half right here on the bottom left where you see the solid fill is black. You wanna hit that little arrow right here and it's gonna switch the um, solid fill to a stroke and we wanna make the stroke like 16. So yeah, that was way too thick. We're gonna go 13 with the stroke. If you look at the original skull here, you can see that the cheekbones are going over the circle. So we need to do that real quick. In order to do that, we're gonna copy the skull. So Command C and then Shift Command V to paste in place. We're gonna to go to our Pathfinder first and hit Merge and then we're gonna to go to Shape Modes and we're gonna Unite it. And what that's going to do is it's gonna fill it with solid color, right? It's just gonna fill it with black and then what we can do from here is we can actually make this uh, fill white and we can add a stroke around it of white as well. We can make the stroke 13 points and that's gonna add a white stroke all around it. If I change the color, you can see what it's doing. See, so it's just a white stroke all the way around that solid fill skull. Then I just wanna go to the eraser and erase the top part because we don't want that to um, obviously be in front of the circle on the top if that makes sense. And you'll see what I'm saying in a second. So now we wanna send this to the back and we also want to take this uh, circle and send that to the back. Shift, Command, and left bracket to do that. And now you can see that it is in the back. The circle needs to be a little bit bigger. So we're just going to resize it slightly, not too much, and move it down just a hair. The next thing I want to focus on is making the outside circle. So we're just going to copy that. So Command C, Shift, Command V. Now we created a duplicate copy. And we're just going to resize it real quick, holding in Shift and option. Designing is really all about balance. So we're just trying to create some balance here, make everything look like it, it looks right, if that makes sense. And um, just kind of keep playing with things until we're happy with it. I got rid of these circles real quick so I can group the skull and the background um, white stroke together. I'm doing that because I'm just trying to resize things and see if I can get this looking kind of similar to the other design. I think that looks much better. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that. We have some room on the left and right. I really like that. The next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna um, delete some of the circle from the bottom here real quick since we're already at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to grab a rectangle and this is gonna serve as a guide to where we're cutting. So we're just gonna drag that rectangle out. We wanna make that a solid fill and make it a bright poppy color so we can see what we're doing here. We're gonna drag that in place and make sure it's centered to our artboard. So now what I can do is I can go to my scissors which is found where the eraser is found. It's right under that or you can just hit C on your keyboard and we're just gonna cut right where the, the rectangle ends. So now we have a really good cut and it's uh, definitely going to be even on both sides. We're doing really good so far guys. So the next thing I wanna do is take this center circle and I wanna copy it. So Command C and then Shift Command V. We're just gonna paste that and then we're gonna resize this and we're gonna create those circles on the left and right. So I'm gonna solid fill this with white, just like this and we're gonna drag that into place. And um, what are we doing here? Where do I want this? Uh, it could stay right there for now. I actually don't mind that positioning. I think it could be a little smaller. That looks pretty good. We're gonna copy this by selecting it and holding an option and dragging and letting go. Now I just wanna select both of them, holding in shift and then do a command G and that's going to create a group for them. And then we're just gonna make sure it's centered to the artboard. Damn, we're looking pretty good already. So the next thing we want to do is uh, drag out this rectangle on the outside and then we're gonna create all the text later on. So we're not worried about that yet. The next thing I wanna do is worry about this rectangle on the outside. So it's really easy. We just need to go to our rectangle tool or hit M on our keyboard 
and we just need to drag out a rectangle the same width as our circle pretty much. It could be a little bit wider, but we, for the most part, want it to be pretty similar. So we're going to go about right there, and we can always resize this later on if we're not happy with the results, but um, I think this is going to look pretty good. The next thing I want to do is actually select all of my center um, assets, if you will. We just want to make sure this is centered horizontally and vertically. So we have, again, nice balance on our design. We're gonna go back to our rectangle and create these little banners on the top and bottom. So I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle about this big. We're just gonna change the height on it a little bit about right here. And this is all experimenting. We're gonna have to mess with this and figure out what's gonna look good. And then I just wanna go up to effect and then go to warp and then arc. And this part's pretty easy. It's gonna add an arc right here. I think this is pretty good. It looks like it's about right, but we're just gonna play with it a little bit more. I think that actually looks better. So we're gonna click okay. Now we have a banner on the top. So what I want to do is actually duplicate this and put it at the bottom. But in order to do that, I actually need to expand it. And here's why. Let me go ahead and try to show you guys an example. If I try to reflect this horizontally and copy it, look what happens. It's not going to flip it properly. So in order to fix that, we're just going to select the banner, go up to object and expand appearance. By expanding the appearance of this, it's going to put a new frame around it. And now when we reflect it, look what happens. Watch this. Horizontal, copy. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're reflecting it, make sure you hit copy or else it's just going to flip it and get rid of the top one. So now we have two rectangles and look how far we've come already, guys. It's freaking crazy, right? Like we've come so far in such a little time. You can make some pretty badass designs in Illustrator. Now what I wanna do is create the cutouts on the rectangle where you see these circle cutouts. We're gonna go to our ellipse or we can hit L on our keyboard again. We're just gonna drag out an ellipse about this big. I think this is looking pretty good. And um, we also wanna get rid of that stroke. We don't need that. And we're just going to duplicate this, right? We're going to put it on the bottom too. So we're just going to group these together. We want to make sure they're centered to our artboard. And we just want to duplicate these on the bottom, just like this. We can group all these together now and also make sure they're centered vertically and horizontally. And now we have all the circles prepared and ready to go. Now we just want to select those ellipses and we want to select the rectangle and we want to hit this mode called minus front because they are in front. And then we want to send that back, shift command left bracket. That's going to send it to the back and now we have those cutouts look how badass that is guys awesome and we can do a couple things here if we wanted to we can make this like really you know stand out by selecting all the corners here of the circle cutout watch this and we could do something like that if we wanted to but anyway that's extra we're not going to go there now what we can do is start focusing on the font choice and adding all the different text right so we are going to do that right now first thing we want to focus on is the main text which is the band name parkway drive we're gonna add that in a font called Brothers OT. Let me go ahead and go to it so you guys can see what I'm saying. Brothers OT. And this is actually found in the type kit. It's part of the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription that you pay for already, which is kind of nice. And you guys can download that. It's again, part of your subscription. So why not take advantage of the font choices that they have in the type kit? Anyway, we're gonna be using this font right now. Now what I wanna do is arc my text using an ellipse. So we're gonna go L on our keyboard to go to the ellipse, which I'm already on. We're going to drag out a pretty big ellipse about this big. We also want to make sure this is centered to our artboard vertically and horizontally. We can make it a little bit bigger. Now what we want to do is go to type on a path. Once you go to type on a path, if you hover over the top or any corner of the ellipse that you just created, you're going to see this little wavy line. Go ahead and left click. And once you left click, it's going to put some lorem ipsum text and then you can start typing whatever you want. So we're going to type out parkway. Before we actually change the font size, what we want to do is make sure it's centered on the paragraph. And we're going to go to these little handles, I guess you can call them, whatever you want to call them, anchor points. We're just going to position it. This definitely is one of those things that takes a little bit of time to get used to. Um, so just be patient. I promise it's going to work fine. So as you can see, it's at the bottom now, but all we have to do is actually change the positioning of these anchor points. So put the one that was on the left on the right and vice versa, and that's going to fix it and it's going to put it where it needs to be. So now we can change the font size. So we're just going to go pretty big with it. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. I think 63 is fine. And we're going to change the kerning. Or do we want to change the kerning? Let me go up a little bit more. Let's go 64 and then change the kerning by holding an option and hitting the right arrow key to either go in or out with the kerning. And then we're going to go to character and move it up a little bit using the baseline shift. So this is all simple stuff that I teach in every tutorial. So if you're lost right now, just watch my tutorials, guys. You're going to get the hang of it. Become second nature the more you practice, I promise. It just you can't complain, okay? I have people on here that complain about things like, oh my God, you're going too fast and all this. But dude, it just takes time. You got to practice. It, it, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I can show you how to do things step by step, but it's not going to help you. Practice is going to help you. I'm sorry. I'm just giving you the facts. So anyway, moving on, 
We're gonna go and duplicate the parkway. Do command C, shift command V to paste in place. And we're going to go to the bottom anchor point here and we're gonna push up on it, right? So we're just gonna go about right here with it. And then we're gonna change the baseline shift under character. We're gonna go negative on it. So kind of eye it and make sure it looks centered and I think it looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna double click on the text and type out drive. And I actually think we can change the font size a little bit. So let's go up to like 69. We're gonna go to the top and change it to the same font size. So like we're gonna go 69 with it, which is kind of an awkward number to land on, honestly, but it's okay. It's fine. I didn't think about that until like right now. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. I think the baseline shift's a little off. Let's try that. Way better. So I like that. The baseline shift at the bottom is also a little off. We're gonna fix that as well. To save us time, we're just gonna copy this circle in the center here. So Command C, Shift Command V to paste it in place. Then we're gonna go to our type on a path and go ahead and left click on one of the paths and then it's gonna put some lorem ipsum and we can just start typing out something. We're gonna change the font size real quick and we're gonna reposition this as well. So we need to take this little anchor and push it up right here and we need to change the baseline shift. We're changing the baseline shift just to again put it where it needs to be, right? We need it to sit nicely between the ellipses. And I'm also going to lower the font size pretty small. We're gonna go about 17 on this because we have quite a bit of text to add to that. And then what I wanna do is just go copy my text real quick to save some time. So we're just gonna copy some of the lyrics from one of their songs and we're just gonna paste that in place. Now I'm just gonna change the baseline shift again. Kerning can also be changed a little bit besides the baseline shift because I think that it was hugging those circles a little too much. So I changed the font size to 17 and I also messed with the kerning and the baseline shift and I think this looks pretty good. I like it, I'm not mad at it. Now what I need to do is uh, put Australia metal. I think I wanna put Australian metal instead. I think that sounds better. So on the top here, we're going to copy that and then we're gonna use that for the bottom and I'll show you guys how to do that. We're just gonna copy the top, do Command C, Shift Command V. We're gonna paste that in place and we're just gonna change those little um, anchor points and move them around the circle, right? And then we can also mess with the baseline shift, you probably guessed it, in order to put it where it needs to be. So we're just gonna do that real quick. We're gonna go negative with it, just like that. So now it's sitting where it needs to be and we need to delete this and put Australian. We're really just changing the baseline shift, the kerning, and just making sure we're positioning where we want it. And that's that's it, that's all there is to it. So now we're just gonna copy it, Shift Command V. It's gonna save us a lot of time doing this, right? By copying it, we're gonna move it to the right side now. See, there's really simple ways of just making your workflow so much faster, right? And it's just part of learning. You just have to learn how to do that and it's gonna make everything so much easier for you. So those are in place. Another thing I noticed is I don't like how the top is more gapped than the bottom here. So we're gonna fix that by changing the kerning. And now as you can see, it looks a lot better. Um, the only other thing I think I did is I added some text at the bottom too. We're gonna copy this ellipse in the center here. We're gonna do Shift Command V. We're gonna resize it just like this. I actually did not mean to copy that. Actually, you know what? That worked. I don't mind that. We're gonna copy heavy metal and then we're just gonna use those anchor points to reposition it just like this. So now we already have it in place and the font size changed, so we could just fix that real quick, put it back to 17. You can also go up to edit and paste and copy and all that stuff, by the way, so it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. And then we need to change the baseline shift, just like this. The next thing I'm gonna do is copy one of these ellipses. I'm probably gonna copy the one on the very top. We're just gonna do Shift-Command-V again to paste it. We're gonna resize it so it's centered on the top here. So kind of just copy exactly what I'm doing here. We're gonna go really small with the stroke, about six points. We wanna make sure it is centered so we're gonna go about right there with it. That looks pretty good. And the next thing I wanna do is uh, drag out a rectangle. And we're gonna go about, let's say, this big with it. We're gonna make sure it's centered. And I'm gonna use another method um, to show you guys exactly how you can delete something really easily um, to make sure this looks right. We're just gonna select both shapes and we're gonna go to the Shape Builder and we're gonna hold in Option and it's gonna turn red basically with the negative sign. You're gonna delete those on the outside, just like this. See how easy that is? And now we have a perfectly centered, even line right here, right, with a six point stroke. And now what we can do is we could just duplicate that by using the reflect tool and then just uh, flipping it horizontally and it's gonna be perfectly at the bottom now. And we can repeat that same process. Go to the rectangle, drag it out like right here. So just delete that center point and then you can delete the other ones. That rectangle wasn't wide enough so I just had to repeat that process. I can delete that rectangle now and as you can see, it is perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. The only other thing we need to do is put the date and we're good to go. So we need to hit T in our keyboard and type out 20. And we need to go up with the font size on here. So we can just kind of resize it to fit. It's okay to have a couple different font sizes. Normally you want to stick to like two, 
But uh, for this one, it's fine. You're probably asking yourself, why are you putting 2018? That's because that's when they released their album Reverence. And it's a great album, by the way. Definitely go check it out. But anyway, we are done pretty much now. We can add texture. We can add color. So what I did is I actually took this design and I brought it into Photoshop and added a gradient overlay and just messed up the colors. That's all I did. If you guys did enjoy this episode and you want to see more like it, your words mean a lot to me. They tell me that you guys are enjoying my content. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this tutorial today in episode six. And if you guys liked it that much, make sure you guys are subscribed and also turn on notifications so you guys don't miss another video. And if you guys want to see more of my life and my art and everything like that, follow me on Instagram at Charlie Pangus. I would love to see new faces on there. Guys, Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.